Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about bulking of sand. So this can come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on bulking of sand. So you can take down notes while you are viewing, viewing this lecture and prepare for your exam. So first let us try to understand what is meant by bulking of sand. So when sand contains moisture, the water forms a thin film around the sand particles. This increases the distance between the particles, thereby increasing the volume of the sand. So what you are seeing here is that there are two particles of sand which is in a dry state and those particles are touching each other. But now the same particles when the sand is moist, what happens is that a film of water forms around the sand particles and they get separated away from each other. So this results in an increase in the volume of the sand. So this phenomenon is called as bulking of sand or swelling of the sand. So bulking of the sand occurs when the moisture is present from 5 to 8 percent causing an increase in volume ranging from 20 to 30 percent. So when does this uh, bulking occur? It occurs in a very small range which ranges from 5 percent to 8 percent and in that case the increase in the volume is quite a phenomenal increase that is between 20 to 30 percent and therefore on the site when we when the sample when the actual sand arrives on the site we must know whether the sand has bulked or not so what happens when moisture increases beyond 8 percent so more moisture beyond this reduces the bulking and in the fully saturated state the film around the sand particles disappears and the volume of sand is equal to its dry volume. So what it means is that there is a very small range between 5 to 8 percent in which the bulking occurs. Beyond 8 percent the volume again starts reducing to its uh, original volume. So this is seen in this graph. What you can see in this graph is on the xx axis you will see that there is a percentage of moisture which has been mentioned and on the yy axis you will see the increase in the volume of the sand. So at this particular point 0, 00 you will see that the sand is in a dry state and therefore there is no increase in the volume of the sand. As the moisture content goes on increasing what you will see that the volume of the sand also goes on increasing. So at a range between 5 to 8 percent you will see that the volume has increased to its maximum. So uh, this is the point we, we call about or this is the range we say at 5 to 8 percent there is maximum bulking of the sand. Beyond this range if the moisture increases you will see that the volume again starts reducing till it comes back to its uh, volume which was there in the dry state. So in this sketch again or in this graph what you can see is that there are three graphs which are drawn. So the first graph is showing you the bulking for coarse sand, the second is showing you for medium sand and the third is showing you for fine sand. So it is quite obvious that the bulking is maximum for fine sand and then for medium sand and least for the coarse sand. This is quite obvious because in case of the fine sand what happens is that the number of particles are going to be more in the sand and therefore the increase in volume will also be more. So what is the consequence of this? What is the repercussion of bulking when we are preparing concrete? So when preparing concrete or mortar by volumetric method and if we have if we are using bulked sand then the actual sand added in the mix is less than if it was in the dry state. So as a result of this what happens is this leads to a sand deficient concrete or mortar. So this is seen in this particular sketch which is showing that for a given volume there are going to be so many number of particles of sand in a dry state. But the same volume if you see that there is a moist sample of sand then the number of particles of sand are much less because the volume is occupied by the film of water which is formed. 
so what you will see comparing these two uh, volumes the, the volumes are the same but comparing these two uh, sketches you will see that there is less sand in the given volume and here there is more sand in the given volume so what is what you'll see is that if we are going to use bulk sand the actual amount of sand which you are going to add to the mix will be less than what it was in the dry state so then what is done if the sand has bulked so what happens now if the sand has bulked is there any remedy for that yes so there is one remedy that we add additional sand which is needed to add to to uh, to compensate for the deficiency the water present in the sand needs also to be considered when calculating the water cement ratio so this is important that if you now know that the sand has bulked then what we do is that when we are actually putting the sand in the mix by volumetric method we add some additional sand to compensate for the deficiency in the sand also you will see that because the water is already present in the sand we possibly will reduce the amount of water which we are going to add in the concrete mix so that we compensate for that additional water which is present in the sand now is it possible to determine whether the sand has bulked or not by using a laboratory test well yes it is very much possible to do that by using a test for bulking so the amount of bulking of sand can be easily determined by a simple test as follows so this test can be even done on the site and we can quickly find out whether the sand has bulked or not so what is done the moist sand sample is taken in a measuring cylinder which is made out of glass and its volume is noted the measuring cylinder is then filled with water so that the sand becomes completely saturated with water so this is what we are seeing in the sketch first take this measuring cylinder which is made out of glass and put the sample of the sand which is a bulked sand measure the volume how do we measure the volume we measure the height and we multiplied by the area of the circle so by using the formula pi r square into h we get the volume of this bulk sand which we say it is volume v1 then add water into this completely and saturate this sand with water means shake this cylinder and see to it that the sand is totally saturated with water now we know that when the sand becomes saturated with water the film around the particle disappears and the sand comes back to its original volume that means its dry volume now measure this volume this volume again is measured in the same way calculate the height multiplied by the area of the circle you will get volume v2 now calculate the difference in the volumes and calculate the percentage of difference so the cylinder is shaken and the sand allowed to settle the volume of the settled sand is noted the difference in the percentage of volume in the moist condition and saturated condition indicates the percentage of bulking so what we do is we use a very simple formula v1 minus v2 divided by v2 multiplied by 100 that will give us the percentage of bulking if this percentage of bulking is within the range of 5 to 8 percent we will say that the sand has bulked and in that case we will be adding extra sand in the mix to compensate for the bulking so i hope this is clear to you that is what is meant by bulking of sand and you can write a short note on this if you have liked our video please give us a like and also share the video with friends please subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. If you have any queries about this lecture, you please get in touch with us at architectsacademy at gmail.com. Thank you.